Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new playthrough on the channel again for the Halloween season. We're getting spooky. We are playing Until Dawn for the very first time. This was our runner up for the Halloween poll. It lost to Condemned, which we just finished. So we are continuing while we are still in the Halloween spirit. Condemned was shorter than I expected, which is allowing us a little more time to play another game. So we're playing Until Dawn. I only know one singular thing about this game, uh, and that is I believe that it is choice based, and I think that's it. I think you make decisions. I'm not sure how the game plays. I'm not sure about the story. I have no fucking clue, which is great because everyone seems to talk a lot of positive feelings about this game. I hear good things. They, they enjoyed it and they, they like it. Uh, it seems that a lot of people were also excited for me to play it in the Patreon poll as well. So thank you to my lovely Big Boss tier patrons who voted for this one. And well, I guess we'll, we'll jump into it and we'll see what it's all about. I uh, hope you're excited for the playthrough. I am curious and interested to see what Until Dawn is going to be about. Uh, we've got a cinematic main menu here. Woman's face double exposed to give us some creepy looking environments. So let's start a new story and see what Until Dawn is all about. We're just gonna, we're gonna just jump right in. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. So I think this is the choice based thing, right? So we're gonna have butterfly effects based on choices that we make in the game. So that's all I know. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. It's a good thing that it's the first thing the game tells us to. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. <laughs> cool. Branching pathways. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Great, to so choose your own adventure novel in a game. I love it. I genuinely love like fork in the road decision making in real life and thinking about that. So this is this is gonna be cool. And I, I like that the only thing I knew about the game is given to us right at the beginning. So now we're going in blind, baby. Oh, classic. Okay. Classic. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Okay, so it's weird, sort of like teenage horror drama thing. Who's gonna be the guy that dies first? <laughs> Hannah! <laughs> She's here! Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. What I might do first... Oh, I can't go in... I, uh, the menu is unavailable during choices and interactions. I was going to see if I could turn on the subtitles, because that's usually one of the first things I do when I start a game, so everybody can make sure to read and not miss out on dialogue. I'll do that when I'm next able. this weekend. Josh. Oh, ah, ah. Oh, this is how it controls. That's weird. Okay. Now I can turn on subtitles. All right. 
Uh, enable or display overlay text when for written material while playing. Sure. I don't need stats. That's fine. Okay. Let's figure out the control scheme. Ooh, this is not how I thought this was going to go. Okay. That's really interesting. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. Character info. Beth. Character traits. Okay, so it shows us that we're honest, charitable, not very funny. Middle ground brave. Not very romantic. Curious. And relationship status. Okay, so we've got like a bunch of different characters. Find out what the others are up to. We're super close with Hannah and kind of much closer with Josh than everybody else. The twins. 1952. Mystery man. Totems. Jesus, what is going on in this game? Butterfly effect. Jesus, okay. Um, what did I press for that? R1. Okay, R1 gives me a bunch of information that I don't know if I even want. Is everyone just asleep? Everyone's just passed out already? Alright, I'm going to look at the controls. So it has traditional controls or motion controls. And that's it. Okay, I can't actually see the control layout. <laughs> so we'll just figure it out as we go along. Alright, let's have a look. Tutorial. Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect. Okay, lovely. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2am. Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Okay. So, uh, group of friends go to a lodge for the holiday season. Seemingly. And uh, everyone's passed out. And we're just going to interact with shiny objects. Use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Okay. Pick up the bottle. Jeremiah Crag. Okay, so I can only tilt it specific ways. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. I got your note. What the fuck? Ah, here we go. Meet me at 2 a.m. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all got out of hand, Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, Hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Use the right stick to choose. Wake Josh or find the others. Okay. Josh! Josh! This guy just won't fucking wake up. Guys, there's someone outside. I should have gone for the others, but the like... Hell? It's too late to my decision making because it's very split Anna? second. What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press the correct action button before the time runs out. Jesus, okay. Okay, so it's they've got like uh, quick time events as well. Okay, safe or fast? Let's go safe. Okay, I see how the decisions are made now. You just hold it in the direction for a period of time. Cool. Let's take the safe route so I don't break a leg or some shit. Will our, will our horror tropes be sensible, or will they always end up in a stupid fucking... 
Holy footprints. Touchpad as shown. Cool. <laughs> status Hannah. update. So I check the status update in here. Find Hannah. Oh, I'm not very brave anymore, but I'm quite curious. Okay, so it updates on the list. This is very interesting. I think the the voice acting, like the audio quality is not super great. The all of the voices sound like weirdly compressed. If that makes sense, then it sounds super great. Um, but if you press R1 for a status update, you can see your character traits change. We are no longer brave. We're half as brave as we used to be. Okay. You can direct the light with the right stick. The traditional controls work out quite well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I've been scared. I would not want to walk faster. Hello? Hello? Oh, this is like a, the totem thing that I saw in the menu. Can I pick it up or take it with me? Or... I'm gonna pick it up. And... Oh! Ooh, death totem, what the fuck? Okay, hang on. Totem prophecies. The events of the past. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions, and Hannah has a butterfly tattoo. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Oh, so we, it's, okay, so we only get to see like a brief, down. We only have to see like a brief thing. Found on the mountain by Beth. So is that my possible death? That's uh No, because that's a different character. Who are we? We're playing as we're playing as Beth right now, aren't we? Yeah. I don't know who I don't know anybody's names yet to really establish who the fuck they are. I know that this is Beth, I know what Hannah looks like, and I guess I know Mike. Huh? That's kind of it. Hannah! It seems that we're in, it's like, sort of like that classic group goes on a cabin in the woods horror story, but choose your own adventure, which is quite interesting. What the hell was that? Who's got a flamethrower? You must be freezing. Why did you run out Here, all this way? Take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna, back. Anna! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my phone. Don't die and hit your head on a mountain. No! No! Shit! No! Get back! No! Hold on! What the fuck does he have a flamethrower for? Oh shit. He's reaching his hand out. Wait, what? Okay, let's let go. I won't drop Hannah. Oh! 
die. So I die as a result. Fuck, the death prophecy came true. Did we both die? Oh fuck, we both died. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I thought if I didn't let her go that perhaps one of us would live. <laughs> Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Oh, it's this guy. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. <laughs> the facial animations are great, dude. Uh, I really like the, the facial animations. So, um... <laughs> so... <laughs> Beth and Hannah died, so that was the first death prophecy. So I guess if we let Hannah go, she would die, and then we would get picked up by this potential guy that looks like he could be a killer, but maybe he's not a killer. Um, so that's gone swimmingly. Beth's dead. Hannah's dead, question mark? Can we take a look at our... There's none of this yet. Totem, mystery man. Okay, we can't look at character interactions yet when we're here. Okay. This is a very interesting start. It really just gets you right into it. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I mean, this whole game makes me feel uneasy. Uh, it doesn't make me happy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The scarecrow. What I see, I see. Let's see, the scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. Oh, like the scarecrow being like the potential guy outside? Just staying there without the scarecrow. Um. Sure. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? <laughs> I'd be scared. I fucking hate haunted shit. Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Please remember, this is only a game. <laughs> well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay? Oh, this is so interesting. <laughs> yeah, you know, the facial animations are really good. Alright, out of time for this session. Now we're back. 
that was our intro. <laughs> Thompson and Rami Malek. Rami Malek's in this game. What is this true detective ass intro? <laughs> Time is a flat circle. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Oh, that's Rami Malek's character, okay. All right. <laughs> well, hello, friends and fans. That's so it's weird. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> we tried to wake him up, but he didn't wake up. So one year later, after Hannah and Beth fall to their deaths from the mountain, but they've disappeared because I guess they've never been recovered. Memento Mori, 10 hours until dawn. Okay, we have a status update. Who are we? 
So we're Sam. We're the one who hated that they were doing their sort of thing. Um, the prank on the group. Very honest, very charitable, very brave. Not any high tier relationships with the group. We gotta head to the cable car station. So the, there's clues for the twins. Something from 1952, our mystery man, and then the totems that lead to the events of the past, and then our butterfly effect of our choices. Interesting. There's our mystery man. <laughs> Fucking straight away. <laughs> okay. Sam, Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate, adventurous. Okay, it's good to know. We get our character introductions with their with their face. Sam. Hello. Someone there? Twenty one oh two. Ten hours till dawn. It's a pretty good looking game. I believe this is a PlayStation 4 game. I can't remember, I don't know what year it came out. Gates busted, climb over, Chris. Oh, what? Chris. Ah, damn it. Oh, from Josh Washington, sent 28th of December 2014. I'm gonna assume the game came out around this year. Directions, Vancouver Central. Leaves at uh, 5.15, change at Terminus, take 38 towards Calgary, ask driver to stop at Blackwood Pines, otherwise he won't. Yo, how do I get there again? Okay. Yes. Nice. Let's climb over the gate. Oh, we're still trying the oh, gate. Jesus, never mind. <laughs> I'm on over. Did us trying to, like, push the... Push the gate, be a butterfly flapping its wings. Let's just take the safe route again. I died last time. Alright, we have... Oh no! I fucking pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so, I failed my quick time event already. That's great. Climb. There's no point, there's no reason not to jump. We're gonna make it over this fence safely without fucking cracking our head on a rock or some shit. <laughs> Sam seems to be the most sensible out of the, the bunch. Okay. When the don't move icon is on the screen, keep the wireless controller as still as possible. Okay. Oh, don't move segments. That's actually really interesting. Yeah, you can see your current object by pressing R1. Cool. We have the knowledge that we're being watched already. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Okay, tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death, black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss, brown butterflies foretold a, of tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. And fortune, white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay. We've found one. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking them up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Okay, and I guess these must be missable then, if you don't see it. But just, that's another black one. Great. Oh, no, it's a guidance totem. I guess the future is uncertain. Whether or not prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. 
Oh, oh, it's the marking on the on the outside. For some reason, I thought it was just the one that goes in. Okay, the vision of guidance for a future choice. It'll be a bird, and it will be, and it will distract. Okay, found by the lower cable cusses by Sam. Oh, okay, so the the totem description says where the totem was found. For some reason, when I first read this, I misunderstood it and thought that we would find, like, find someone who died on the mountain by Beth. Like, I understand it now. I'm learning. I'm learning. Look at that fucking view, though. That looks great. The past is beyond our control. Graffiti all the way up here. Cool. Just gotta keep an eye out for anything Chris? that's like you hear? Um shining, I suppose, that I can interact with. Here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Sam is an honest person. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, and humorous. There he is. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. <laughs> okay, so I can check this at any time. Yeah, so our honesty goes up and our relationship with Chris slightly improves, I suppose. There you go. Butterfly effect. Any of your business. Chris was happy to see Sam. Sam respected Chris's privacy. Okay, there's our first butterfly effect. Clue found. Wanted poster. Nice. Victor Milgram. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, Wanted come in connection on. with the first the degree. Here. Arson. Comes up here. Wanted in connection with the first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. July 1998. Awesome. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and increase your chances of survival. And then we can check the clues that we've found. Ah, uh, in relation to the mystery man. Okay, there you go. So it'll pay to just, I guess, make sure you can see around here as much as possible. If anything's glittery and glowing for me. It looked like someone was fucking hanging from the <laughs> antenna there for a second. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here it just all came flooding back. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Oh, All and right. now playing as Chris. Here goes. Shooting tutorial. Use the right stick to aim, R2 to shoot. I'm ready to go when you are, tutorial. Oh, I need to shoot at the specific thing that's highlighted. <laughs> I wanted to pick my own target. I wasn't even looking at... Ah, oh, it was the second target. <laughs> that's funny. Wow, nice. 
All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. I quite like that the, the they well, feel very natural. Everybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. No, don't shoot the squirrel. I'm not gonna shoot this squirrel. Fuck off. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Another butterfly effect. Rats with bushy tails. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. Okay, interesting. Nature remained in balance. Status update. Let's take a look. My relationship with Sam is improved. This is very cool how it kind of changes between characters quite easily. Uh, I like the, the character interaction and dialogue for the most part feels very natural. I don't know how it keeps it all together. I, it doesn't feel like poorly written and like cringe. It's like just natural human interaction, which feels very good. Just being silly, making the most out of a shitty situation. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that. What people? I, I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. That's for you. Oh, real gentleman. Okay. TV on in here. was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. <laughs> How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like... Healthy mind and body. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Someone out there? Why did we do, huh? Interesting. We changed views. Interesting. Is it a live camera feed or is it a recording? Who knows? Can't interact with it any more than that. That's fine. The character animations feel very natural as well, too. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Just like going to the prom. on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm not kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro, good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. 
You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect about that a lot in my own life it's butterfly effect is such a fascinating thing to get stuck into a train of thought on like things can play out wildly differently based on just the smallest of things and it's really cool Jess Mike's new girlfriend confident trusting irreverent boy oh boy oh boy boy oh boy oh boy time to meet and greet it's Mike's new girlfriend Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys <laughs> go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Cable car's on its way back down. Couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex, intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt. Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. He was so they're they're very much keen on dating within the friendship group, right? Because <laughs> this guy was here a year ago too, pretty sure. Let's check the status updates. It's switching so quickly you can't even check uh, switch through characters anymore. Uh, we don't like Chris or Mike very much. I wonder why. Emily and Jess, we like the same amount, which is interesting because Jess is Mike's new partner. Not very funny or brave. Um, let's have a look at Butterfly Effect. So, ah, oh, okay, so we get updates to previous ones. I'm, I'm going across the touchscreen, but it's not doing anything. Oh, you have to go that way, okay. Chris was happy to see Sam. Chris continued to trust Sam. Okay. So it updates particular ones. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Okay, now we're Matt. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh. 
Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex, intelligent, driven, and persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. It's not gonna just tell the way you it is. is. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? <laughs> Crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Bruh. Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Weird vibes. Feels like she's just gonna go catch up with Mike. <laughs> she's like, oh, this is really important. I forgot. I need to go actually talk with Sam. Okay, more romantic, more with Emily, less with Mike. Okay, and now she's going on her own to talk to Sam, but in the same direction as Mike. Oh. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Okay, so they both have a crush on each other. Academic, inquisitive, and forthright. They both have a crush on each other. Ooh. Oh, hello. Ah. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Bro, what did I say? I need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. What did I say? She's literally like, oh, it's really important that I go back here all of a sudden. Oh, oh God. Hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, damn. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Ah, oh, well, son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. She also lied. Like, she said she was going to go back to see Sam. Especially after what we literally just said to Mike as well. What the fuck? <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> Just waits for the next crew. Check phone or read book. I'm gonna check my Twitter. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. 
But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, Get fucking great. wrecked, boy. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Yeah! Oh! Ah. Hey! Oh, snap! This man's gonna get fucking wrecked. Is this another nature remains in balance thing? Slow! Come on! Uh, don't miss and hit the bird. Hey, Mike! Boom! Shaka okay. Oh, you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is like the totem thing with the bird. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Interesting. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Why would I go for the bird? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for the bird anyway. Yeah, if they Whoa, tutorial oh, you to be like, sometimes restraint is important. And then what? Oh, no more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent. Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. We'll let the romantic moment happen. We've had enough snowballing. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Status update for Jess. Oh no, we're no longer funny. Now we're not funny anymore. That's kind of interesting. Wouldn't like playing along with the snowball fight and like playing it up as the actor be a funny thing to do? Apparently not. Uh, Mike's relationship has increased. Charit we're no longer more charitable because we didn't like let him win, I suppose. <laughs> that one makes sense. Who's on the cable car? Oh, we back. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Which set makes you the most anxious? Men worry me or women worry me. Okay. Interesting. Women, why women worry me, dude? You can never figure them out. They're terrifying. <laughs> Planes or crowds? I'm an incel. I live in my basement. Women and crowds scare me. And I fear heights. I feel both of them, but heights, bro. Genuinely. This feels like the sensible option to take. I'm, I'm pretty terrified of snakes, too. You just be taking notes. 
Both are scary, but guns scare me more. Long range, baby. Projectile. Still fear snakes more than cockroaches. Okay. Are you even looking at what I'm doing, bro? Oh god. Look at how this is drawn. Um... Scarecrows are faceless. You don't know who's hiding under there. I thought, okay, I thought that was like a pile of poop. Crows or gore disgusts me. Um, sure. Crows are great. Oh. Did that startle you? So I didn't sorry. actually. You're doing very well. You did it. I'm, I'm, I'm fearless. I'm just terrified of women in crowds, dude. <laughs> Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I feel that I've been quite quick on the trigger here. Snakes still scare me more than spiders, but spiders also terrify me. Snakes are much more fucking, you know, fear needles or gore. Let's go for needles. I can deal with gore more than needles, probably. Zombies or scarecrows? I guess we're zombies, sure. <laughs> Realistically, like a Left 4 Dead zombie scenario? Holy fuck. Uh, dogs or needles? Dogs are friends. Dogs are, dogs are all good. Um, storms or needles? I guess we're just really fucking terrified of needles. <laughs> this is very interesting. Why are we so scared of needles over everything else? For answering so. Says the man covered in tattoos. Snakes, zombies, and needles. Ooh. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> this guy's so weird. Uh, well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. How much does it cost to see you for like less than five minutes, sir? <laughs> How much does it cost for these sessions? How much money am I giving you for your little picture book exercises? So you can stare out the window. <laughs> He's like, alright, we're all done. Previously on Until Dawn. It's gonna give us our great update. This is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. I like that the previously is in less frames than the actual game. <laughs> yep, that happened. <laughs> First off, I gotta say that happened. I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. One year later. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. I get creepy vibes from Josh saying that because he says for the sake of his sisters, the moments we'll never forget. No, that it feels weird that, that he might end up blaming the group for Sounds like good. causing Boom. the Butterfly the deaths of the sisters because it was their prank that got her to run away, and he was passed yeah, out during. Like this mountain gets bigger nice. every time I climb it. Oh yeah, darkness. It feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother, complex, thoughtful, and loving. There you go. So yeah. It, Kind of gives me the vibes that he might kind of resent the group almost, especially with how he says, uh, where he says certain things. We have some, some moments we'll never forget. I'm so excited. You know, you'd feel like he, with him being passed out, he might blame himself a little bit, but also at the same time, he might also hold some resentment against the group because they wouldn't have done it. They wouldn't have ran away if it wasn't for them doing that prank. You know? Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Whoops. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it's so good to see you. What's up with him? Ominous vibes. The 
that we've made it to the lodge. Yo, yo, yo! We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Gossip or worry? Let's let's check in with him. Hey, you doing all right? I, mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time. You know, like we always used to. Used to. Damn it! It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. It's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like They're all locked. Get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. So it kinda it'll just dunk you into the next part of the story Hi, real quick after the, the therapy session. It's weird to be back confident, to be confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. We got a crush on each other. So it just chucks you right into the... Um, chucks you right into everything. When it goes into the therapy session and then it chucks you into to chapter two and then you're right back into it the soul of discretion so ashley encouraged matt to use the telescope and matt saw mike and emily flirting uh yeah fucking i wouldn't keep that from someone nobody deserves to have that kept from them so i'm fine with that but we're at three butterfly effects so far and we're into the the next chapter i suppose chapter two of the story and with that one we're going to bring this first episode of until dawn to a close thank you so much for joining me for the first one so we could get some first impressions of the game so far uh, i quite like it it's interesting um it's kind of like a bit of a seems like it's got kind of a, a cliche premise in that we're all very familiar with of like the people going to the lodge and something happens but we're a, actually a year after an event instead uh so i'm kind of curious to see what that's going to be like uh to explore this game a bit more find some more clues and piece together the mystery of the for these guys of what what's happened um and and find out how the story is going to progress uh so i'm i'm interested in it i think the the character interactions all feel very genuine i'm not like cringing or anything it feels very cool um but then there's also like a, a therapy angle to it as well and it's quite obviously fourth wall breaky and I'm curious about how that's going to progress as well. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're excited for this playthrough and the rest of the episodes to come. Uh, again, thank you to my lovely patrons who voted for this game. Uh, even though it didn't win, it was second place and we have time to play it through Halloween. So I wanted to drop it on the channel. Um, as you know, thank you for direct support as well. And if you do want to get any early access to episodes on the channel as well, that is also another thing that I offer on, on Patreon as well if you want to check that out. Uh, or just consider subscribing if you haven't already because it makes a world of difference to my channel's growth and means a lot to me doing this full time as well. So thank you so much for watching everybody. Hope you've enjoyed it. Can't wait to play more and I'll see you next time.